but I walked about 20 feet and ran into another nice edible. Now this is the common chanterelle mushroom or golden chanterelle. Sometimes they'll be hiding just under the leaves. A key feature of this mushroom is that it looks like it has gills, but they're actually false gills, and they tend to fork out like a river, the branches in a river as they run out towards the edge of the cap. There's one, and there's another one. A lot of times these will have worms in the summer, but if you cut the stem like I did, um, and you don't see any wormholes in the stem, it's a good possibility that it won't have worms. So I'll put those two in my bag. Well, I walked about 20 feet. This mushroom hunting is really slow going. It's, you know, take a step and look. But I was about to give up on these, uh, this next mushroom. I thought it might be just a little bit too early because I find more of these in August. But sure enough, they're out. Now this here is a chanterelle as well. But this one's bright orange. And you can, if you look close, you can see some little bitty ones just starting right there. But these are really good eating. And these, unlike the regular chanterelle, they tend to not get worms on them. I've yet to find any. I think I might have found some one time with worms. That one's a little too small, but it was hiding under there. I accidentally cut it, so I'll take it with me. Again, this is a cinnabar chanterelle. And if you look closely at the gills, let me put this in macro mode for you. Okay, so like I was saying, if you look closely at those gills, they're actually not true gills that you could like rub off and break off with your finger. They're actually a part of the flesh of the mushroom. And they run down the stem just a little bit. And like I said, with the chanterelles, they always fork out as they get out towards the edge of the cap. Cinnabar Chanterelle. Just about three feet away from those last ones I found. And here's some that are getting a little bit too old. That's the Cinnabar Chanterelle as well. It starts to fade out a little bit and kind of fall apart. Another little Cinnabar. Now this one is... Uh, getting old as well but another thing i've noticed about the cinnabar chanterelles is um even though they're getting a little past prime they're still pretty good so i'll go ahead and put that one in the in the bag with the other mushrooms and those cinnabars don't get very big that's about as big as they get right there yeah i took a little bit closer look at that one and uh, i decided not to put it in my bag after all they're few and far between actually they're pretty close I mean this is probably 20 feet from that old man of the woods mushroom but here's some more golden chanterelles got a spider dangling in my face I don't like ripping these mushrooms out if I can help it because this is the fruit actually the actual mushroom organism is in the ground and it usually appears like little white roots or white mold and these are the fruits of that organism and those are some really nice common or golden chanterelles and these appear to be quite bug free not very big but they usually don't get very big around here all right 
right, so I got back into that darker woods. And as soon as I did, check this out. Growing right in the trail. A whole bunch of tiny, tiny cinnabar chanterelles. Oh yeah, that's a nice chanterelle. Fall skills is the key. And they have a unique smell. If you guys ever find these when they're fresh, I'd like to hear you your opinion on what they smell like. That's a nice one though. I'm glad I decided to come out today and fend off these bugs and heat and humidity because uh, just got into quite a few nice chanterelles here. I got my little bag hanging on my camera arm here. Now let's see here. That's a decent little one. kind of bug eaten. Oh, that one is too. It's got holes in the stem. Bummer. But there's more. Mm -hmm. Probably buggy, but I'll find out when I get it home. I know those ones are. Good size to those two. Nice big flush right over here. Kind of looking as I go. Looks like I might be just a little bit too late on some of these. I come out about a week ago. I probably would have done better. Nice ones there. A whole bunch more right there. A couple more over there. Alright, well I went ahead and put the camera in macro mode because I want to show you this. Here's another orange mushroom that could be mistaken for the cinnabar chanterelle that I showed you earlier. But if you look closely, if I can get this to focus. This one has actual gills, and uh, the chanterelles, the stem and the cap are all one solid piece. There's no like difference between them, and this one actually has a, a true stem. So I've seen people mistake these for cinnabar chanterelles, so I wanted to show you this. I don't recall the name of this offhand. And I don't think it's actually poisonous, but it's not edible, and it's just good to know that there are other mushrooms that are orange and small that could be mistaken for the chanterelle and could be poisonous, so just keep that in mind when you're out foraging. There's another one of those little orange mushrooms, a little bit older. Definitely not a chanterelle. The gills don't run down the stem and they're true gills not false gills. So those that big patch of chanterelles I showed you were buggy so that was kind of a bummer. A lot of it's about timing. If I had got out here about a week ago I probably would have had a much better uh, take but I'll show you what I found. And get this bag to open up. 
it's real hot and humid today we had a slight cool down for two days and then it ended but i got uh okay see that lactaria see how now it's all brown that's one of the identifying features of that mushroom but we got one two couple lactarias and looks like about a dozen or so chanterelles cinnabars and golden so that's it I figured I'd just take you guys out on this mushroom hunt and show you what I found um, like I said that's it thanks for watching and thanks for all the comments and support